If you could build a mathematical algorithm that could predict before an individual felt they were sick that that person would become susceptible, then the definition of being sick changes. High dimensional, scalable, mathematical uh, approaches could possibly redefine the practice of medicine. Dr. Hero's group applied these methods to study the flu with the goal of identifying genetic characteristics that could account for why some people get sick and others do not. In their test, 17 healthy individuals were inoculated with the flu, with about half getting sick. The gene expression data they gathered painted a clear picture. What we found was that there is enough of a stable signature to predict whether someone is highly susceptible to becoming seriously ill. Dr. Hero envisions a future where individual users would own personal devices that with the prick of a finger could predict whether you are at risk of becoming sick. That's a redefinition of preventative health because it allows the user of, of this technology to get a real insight into what their body is telling them beyond what they perceive. Response from the scientific and medical communities has been overwhelmingly positive, although Dr. Hero admits further efforts are needed in order to reach the goal of creating a fully integrated system of patient monitoring and treatment. He says in the short term, though, the system can function similar to consumer GPS devices. You know, you can choose to turn it on or turn it off. And uh, if you turn it on, there are benefits. Uh, if you turn it off, there are also benefits and it's up to the individual to make those, make those choices. Dr. Hero points to the collaboration and cooperation with the medical community as a big part of the success of their research. More of these kinds of initiatives, in my opinion, aren't going to be necessary in order to bring this and other uh, socially beneficial uh, scientific enterprises uh, to, uh, to fruition.